my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to 10 gas questions that every gas engineer should know the answers. So you should have already watched the video on the questions. It's no good watching this one first, you need to go back and watch that one. But if you have and you want to know the answers, here are the answers to 10 questions every gas engineer should know without using their books. So let's just get on with it. So here we go, here's the answer to question number one, where medium pressure pipework enters a building through the back of the meter box under the unsafe situations, how would we categorize this? The answer was B, at risk. That was the answer for question number one. So let's have a look at the answer for question number two, where a gas pipe runs under the foundations of a building. This can only be done if, the answer was C, adequate steps have been taken to protect the pipe from movement and corrosion. So that was the answer for question number two. And the answer to question number three. All ventilation grills require a warning notice when? The answer was A. Installed in a compartment. That was the answer for question number three. Now the answer to question number four. The permissible rise on a digital manometer to two decimal places is? The answer was B, 0.25. That was the answer to question number four. So here's halfway, question number five. Have you got four out of four so far? Anyway, here's the answer to question number five. The industry standard for testing pipe work over 35 mil and exceeding a volume of 0.035 meters cubed is, the answer was A, IGE UP1 or IGE UP1A. That was the answer for question number five. Now, question number six is the answer. So a flue outlet of a combination boiler when facing a boundary shall be at least how far away? The answer was C, 600 millimeters. That was the answer for question number six. So here's the answer for question number seven. A flu management kit on a flu must terminate in what location to the air inlet of the same flu? The answer was C, must terminate in the same pressure zone. That's the answer for question number seven. And now the answer to question number eight. What is the maximum spacings of support on a horizontal 22 mil copper pipe? Of course, the answer was B, two meters. That's the answer to question eight. The answer for question nine then. When a gas pipe is run inside a duct, the duct must be, and the answer was, B, vented top and bottom. That's the answer for question nine. <music> ah, 
And finally, the answer to question 10. What is the maximum pressure loss allowed on a gas pipe installation? The answer was A, 1 millibar. That's the end of answer to 10 and the end of this quiz. So, how did you do? Did you find them easy? Because you should have done. So you should all have got 10 out of 10 because these are 10 questions every gas engineer should know. So, if you've liked this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then get subscribing and don't forget to uh, ring that notification bell because even I don't know when I'm releasing videos. So, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, stay safe guys, cheers.